Do you feel like siphoning all the gas from every car, van, truck, and gas station in your neighborhood and setting your math textbook on fire? Wonderful. We can help you avoid 25 to life in prison by watching this video by Fort Bend Tutoring and Mr. Witt. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial is going to be over finding the area of a sector. Alright, of a circle. Mm -hmm. So here, check it out, check it out, check it out. We have the area of a sector and defining this, ladies and gentlemen, we have a diagram to help us with that. We have the radius, okay, we know that's from the center of the circle to a point on the circle. And this green area here is going to be the sector and the area of that sector is what we're trying to find, that green shaded area. Given the fact that our angle theta can be given in degrees or in radians and this L, alright, that L, which is normally an S, is given as the arc length, alright, the length from that point on the circle all the way to that point on the circle, okay? But what we're finding in this video is the area within that region there, that slice of the pie, the actual pie slice area is what we're trying to find. You got it. So, here I have a couple of formulas that we'll be using in today's tutorial. One is going to be the area can be found by taking half of the radius squared times theta. Mm -hmm. As long as theta is in radians. Okay? And you'll know that it's in radians because it will not have a degree symbol. That's how you'll know. All right. You see a degree symbol? It's in degrees. You don't see a degree symbol? It's not in degrees. It's in radians. Then, if they give it to you in degrees, and I know this is in degrees because I see a degree symbol, that if they give you your central angle in degrees, you can use this formula, which will be the central angle in degrees divided by 360 times pi r squared, a.k.a. the area of a circle. All right. So here you're just taking a part of the area of a circle. So if you're going to be in degrees, you can stick with that formula right there. Or you can actually convert your degrees into radians and you can check out the link right here in order to do that. All right. So let's check out some problems. In problem number one, we're asked to find the area of the sector given a radius of three meters and theta, our angle measurement, is in radians. How do I know that? Because I don't have a degree symbol. So therefore, my theta, the angle measurement in radians, is going to be four pi over nine. So I'll be using my simplified formula here, the one that I can use when the angle measurement is in radians. Let's go ahead and fill in some values here. So starting out, I'll have one half times a radius of three meters that's going to be squared times theta which in this case is going to be four pi over nine all right so this is going to be my initial setup once i have this ladies and gentlemen i'm going to simplify using my order of operations so for starters i'll say that i have the one half times nine times four pi all over nine just like that then what happens from here is that my nines will cancel out all right and also I can simplify that two and the four because two goes into itself once and two goes into four twice multiplying everything out you'll just end up with the answer that is going to be two pi meters squared all right and that's going to be your answer remember when you're dealing with area your unit of measurement is always going to be to the second power all right that's my answer. Yeah, so if they ask you for an exact answer, meaning that you don't have to actually calculate that value to the nearest thousands place, then this is going to be it. Putting a box around my answer just like that. Now, if you needed your answer written in decimal notation, then that means that you're most likely going to be grabbing your calculator. So I'm going to pull out my calculator right here out of my trusty mm -hmm, Fort Bend Tutoring Calculator case. All right. And I'll show you what it looks like when we plug in this result here. So here you see that I've gone ahead and plugged in all my values in the calculator here. And all I have to do from here is press enter. So this is going to give me a result of 6 and 283 thousandths if I'm rounding to the nearest thousandths place. And this is my result. Done and done, ladies and gentlemen. All right. There you have it. Okay, so our answer rounded to the nearest thousands place is going to be 6 and 283 thousandths. All right. Let's go ahead and box that up as well. GIF wrapping it. Done and done. That's problem number one. Let's move on to our next one. 
Okay, we have problem number two. It says to find the area of the sector. This time, our radius is going to be 10 feet, and theta is in degrees. That's why we're going to be using the second formula in this case. Once again, we have that central angle in degrees divided by 360 times pi r squared. Let's plug things in. You'll have your degree measurement, which is going to be 45 all over 360 times pi times our radius, which is 10, and that's going to be squared. Then we can go ahead and simplify this by using the order of operations. So I'm looking at 45 pi over 360 times 10 squared is going to be 100. All right, so this is what I have thus far. Then going forward, we're going to simplify this knowing that 45 will go into itself once. 45 goes into 360 eight times. And then we can reduce the eight into 100 by four. So four goes into eight twice. And four goes into 125 times. So this gives us a result of 25 pi all over two feet squared. All right, so that's going to be your answer as an exact answer. Once again, if you need to have your answer in decimal notation, then go ahead and plug this into your calculator and hit enter. All right, so here we have our 25 pi over 2. So we end up with 39 and 27 hundredths, and that's rounded to the thousandths place. All right, let's go ahead and write that down. Okay, so we end up with 39 and 27 hundredths, and that's going to be square feet. All right, just like that. Let's go ahead and box up our answers here. Red boxing it, just like this. And this is going to be your results, either as an exact answer or rounded to the nearest thousands place. All right, there you have it. That's problem number two. Let's move on to our next one. Okay, in problem number three, it says to find the area of the sector. We have a radius of six centimeters. Our theta is in radians, it's 11 pi over 6. We will be using that first formula because our theta is in radians. Our angle measurement is in radians. We can use this one right here. All right, let's go ahead and plug things in. You end up with 1 half times my radius, which is 6 squared, times theta, which is 11 pi over 6. Okay, so from here, we're going to use our order of operations. We'll be simplifying this as much as possible. So this is going to give me 1 half times 36 times 11 pi over 6. All right, I know that I can simplify this before I multiply, which I prefer to do. So I'm going to end up saying that uh, 2 goes into 36 18 times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll then say that 6 goes into itself once. It'll go into 18 three times. Mm -hmm. So then multiplying straight across, you end up with 33 pi mm -hmm, centimeters squared. Yeah. Just like that. And this is going to be your exact answer for problem number three. Remember, if you need to find the decimal notation for that, go ahead and plug that into your calculator and go ahead and round it to the nearest thousands place unless otherwise directed by the textbook or your teacher. Amen, amen. I'm going to box this up now, okay? Red boxing it. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Done. Mm -hmm. Moving on to problem number four. Just turn the page, and now we're on problem number four. It says find the area of the sector. We're given our radius of 16 feet. We have theta in degrees. It's 120 degrees. Mm -hmm. So we'll be utilizing the formula x divided by 360 times pi r squared. Let's plug in some values here. So I know that my x is in degrees, so that's going to be my 120 over 360 times pi mm -hmm, times my radius squared. And my radius just happens to be 16. So there we have it. Okay, That's a 2 right there. I understand it's an ugly 2. Oh yeah, that's, that's atrocious. Let's fix that. Mm -mm. Nope. Can't live with that too. Not gonna deal with it. That's not much better, but it's gonna fly. Okay, where to? Don't know. Using your order of operations, we'll be bringing down that 120 over 360 times 256 pi, all right? Which is the result of 16 squared, uh-huh. From there, we're going to simplify this. What we'll do is we'll say that 120 goes into itself once, 120 goes into 360 three times, uh-huh. From there, we'll go ahead and multiply straight across, and so you'll end up with 256 pi over three. Mm-hmm, unit of measurement, feet squared. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, and another ugly two. I'm going to keep that one. It's special to me. All right, so from here, we'll go ahead and box it up. Just saying.
boxing it up, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. There's your result as an exact answer. 256 pi thirds square feet. Once again, if you need decimal notation, go ahead and throw that in your calculator and press enter. There you have it. That's problem number four. Let's move along. In problem number five, we're given the area of the sector. In this case, our area equals 18 pi square inches. Our radius is six inches, and they're asking us to find theta in radians. And because our theta is in radians, we'll be using that first formula that was given to you, that area equals one half the radius squared times theta, because theta has to be in radians in that formula. All right, so it's ideal for this situation. From here, we'll go ahead and plug in our values and isolate theta in order to solve for it. So it looks like this. We'll have our area equivalent to 18 pi. This equals 1 half 6 squared times our theta here. Okay. Then using the order of operations, we'll have 18 pi equals 1 half times 36 times theta. We'll then take half of 36. All right. So I'll be bringing down 18 pi, which equals 18 theta. Okay, so from here, in order to solve for theta, all you have to do now is divide both sides by 18. All right, once I do that, I know that theta is equivalent to pi radians. And there you go. That's the answer, ladies and gentlemen. So in this case, we were working backwards trying to solve for theta in this case, and we solved for it, and we ended up with pi as our exact answer. All right, once again, if you want decimal notation for that, for radians, you'll go ahead and plug pi into your calculator and round it to the nearest thousands place or whatever your textbook or teacher says, because we got to make them happy. All right, and for our next problem, our last problem of this video, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to our mascot, Kappa the Math Monkey. For my problem today, it says find the area of the sector. Our radius is going to be 4 meters, and then theta is 3 pi over 2. Our area is going to be equivalent to 1 half the radius squared times theta. I'm using this formula right here because our theta is in radians. So let's go ahead and plug in our values, all right? So here we end up with 1 half times our radius, which is 4, and that's going to be squared, times our theta, which is going to be 3 pi over 2, okay? Then we're going to use the order of operations in order to simplify this. So I end up with 1 half times 16 times 3 pi over 2. Then I'm going to simplify now. I know that 2 goes into 16 8 times, and 2 goes into itself once, and we'll go into 8 4 times. Okay? From here, we're going to, oh, that's an ugly equal sign. Okay, we're going to fix that. Okay. All right, great. Okay, then multiplying straight across, you'll end up with 12 pi. And this is going to be in meters squared. That's right, square meters. And that's the answer. So hopefully that helped you out. And as always, oh, we got to box it. Let's go ahead and box up our answer, okay? There we go. Okay, and as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're able, please donate because that helps bring you free math tutorials from me, Kappa, Mr. Witt, and Fort Ben Tutoring. Peace. Thanks for watching. We feel great knowing that you got some help and you're safe and sound. Now, if you'd be so kind as to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fort Ben Tutoring, and like us on Facebook, we'd be much obliged.